Hello dancers, welcome back to our channel at Image Bone Dance Academy. Today I'm going to cover an international style Roomba, the continuous hip twist. Let's get started. Hello everyone, today I will be covering the continuous hip twist in our international style Roomba. So let's first learn the footwork. Just a reminder, this is a closed gold element, so it's definitely up there in difficulty. So let's take a look at the leader steps. I'd like you to place your weight on the right foot. We're going to go forward into a forward check walk with the left foot. Transfer your weight. Rock back onto your right foot, and then you're gonna create a delayed walk, placing only the left toes at the back. Notice that it's at a diagonal cross. From there, we continue going to a transfer of weight and then a cucaracha, transfer weight to your right, partially through the hips. Then push your weight back to your left foot, to the center, and then come back towards your front foot, towards the right, at a slight diagonal. And then you repeat again. Forward, cross slightly with the left. Transfer the weight back towards your right. Rotate your hips and place the ball of the foot at the back at a, dip, at a diagonal angle. From there, transfer the weight, drop the left heel, do a half cucaracha action, coming back to your left foot and returning forward towards your right. Let me do a different angle so you can see the footwork. So I start again on my right. I do a forward check walk with my left. I replace my weight back towards my right. I rotate to the left slightly, placing my left ball of the foot at the back. From there, I drop my left heel. I place my right foot to the side. I rock some of my hip weight to the right foot. Then I return to my left foot and then I return to the same spot where I came from with my right. Let's go a little bit quicker. So I go left, back to the right, place the ball of the foot, lower the heel, side, return back to center foot, and forward with the right. So again, that's the leader's perspective of the footwork. Now let's talk about the followers. I'd like you to start with your weight on your left foot. Prepare the right toes in front. We're gonna start back with the rock back towards your right foot. We will replace the weight back towards the left, exactly where you came from. Now you will do an 180 degree turn called a hip twist. So exactly how it sounds, you're going to twist your hips. From there, you're going to lower your right heel, and as you do that, swivel the foot and place your left foot to the side. Rotate your feet and your hips, place your right foot to the side, and now you're gonna come back forward with the left foot. You're going to do a forward walk turning here on that left foot, and then you can repeat from the beginning. You're gonna start with the rock step back, forward with the left, replace the weight, you're going to do a hip twist. Notice that I have a compressed knee at the front right leg and my ball of the foot is placed with pressure. I lower my right heel and I swivel my feet to go to the side. I rotate and I do another walk with my right and then I come back to the back. Forward walk turning onto my left. Let me do a different angle. So I start with a left foot, and now I go right back. So I go rock, replace, hip twist with a compressed knee and a beautiful angle at the front. Lower the heel, and now I go forward to my left. I rotate, I go to my right. I come forward towards my left leg. I do a forward walk, turning. And I repeat, rock, replace, hip twist, to the left, to the right, 
forward walk turning. So that is your footwork for both the leader and follower in the continuous hip twist and international style rumba. Now that you've gotten the pattern for the continuous hip twist, let's discuss the timing. Let's take a look at the leader's timing first. Place your weight again on your right foot. You're gonna go forward, checked walk on the count two. So we go two, replace back the weight, three. You're gonna rotate and place the left ball of the foot, four, one, slowly start to lower the heel and then you're gonna syncopate into the cucaracha. And two, towards the right, then come back, three, to your left, and step forward towards the right, four, one. Let's repeat, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one. Now let's take a look at the followers timing. So we're gonna start with our weight on the left, right foot prepared to go back. We go rocking towards two, replace the weight, three, hip twist, four, one. We're gonna have a syncopation, so you will step on the count and, and two, towards the left, three to the right, four, one. So you have a forward walk on four, one. Let's do it again. Two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one. And that is your timing for the continuous hip twist. All right, so the, one of the major tips that I'd like to offer you today, because the continuous hip twist has a lot of rotation, I would like you to apply your counts and to indicate the actions of any sort of rotation. This will allow you to be sharp and very effective on the dance floor. So let's take a look at the leader's pattern and how we can apply the hands. So here I have a slight rotation from this left diagonal to rotate to my right diagonal. So I will count and to do this action, a little bit of a swivel of a foot. And two. And as I do my action of a forward uh, uh, check walk, I will also count and three. As I swivel to the left, and I also count that and for that action. From here, four, one, and two. I count my and on my left hip, on my right hip, caracha, and three and four, one. So notice I also had a little swivel at that moment. So we go, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one. So if you notice, this makes your actions sharper and also creates a fast foot arrival. So let's also take a look at the follower side of using the ants. So we start on our left foot, right foot prepared to rock back. We go two, three, here's the big one, and four, one. And while you're doing this hip twist, please keep stretching between the legs so you create nice tension. And then on and you can release it. So we did four, one, and two. Nice swivel right there. You're gonna do another one here. And three. Notice my back foot inside edge of the foot. And four, that was another one on the right foot. One, and this you can make a nice smooth one. Let's repeat one more time. Then you come forward. So we start right foot back. Two, three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, 
one. So this will really allow you to have beautiful feet and legs. Thank you for joining me today for your continuous hip twist and international style Roomba. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave any comments or questions below. See you next time.